Hello everyone, I know that I haven't been doing tutorials lately and I've been really busy with uh, commissions and stuff, but uh, here's a highly requested tutorial on how you can make 3D clothes like on the one on screen right now. Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, you need a couple things like a special rig and a folding texture, which will both be in the link in the description. And yeah, so basically what you want to do, just get your... Um, whatever, Roblox character, and you want to open the rig that I have in the description. So once you find it in uh, your files, uh, just click, double click on it and click on rig and then click on the faceless one to open it. So then now it's going to bring you to Blender and something like this. So what you want to do is click on the head and click on this little plus here and click on sculpting and then shading. This is gonna bring you to another page and you're gonna want, out of all of these nodes, you're gonna to wanna to go to the one right here in the middle, texture, and click on this little file icon. And then what you wanna do is get your, um, get your Roblox texture from your files and then it should show up for you. And then basically, so this is just a normal one right now, but to make it have 3D clothes, what you're going to want to do, so some basic key things, when you click H, that is to hide, and if you want to unhide it, you can click on, like, say you want to unhide all body parts, just click on a body part and hit Control H, and that'll pop it back up. Or you can go into um, the uh, scene right here, and you see how head is un or invisible you can just click this as well but those are just hotkeys to make it a little faster what you want to do is hide the torso so you only have the limbs and then what you're gonna want to do is click on um, say the arm um, hit sh shift D and then immediately click after and then so now you have two arms and then what you want to do is right click set origin and origin origin to geometry so that way, the you rotate around the middle of the part instead of at the origin of the place. So now that you have this, you're gonna wanna click on it and click S, and you can like ex like extrude it as much as you want, depending on how big you want the clothes to be. And so I'm gonna go just like a little bit more, and then once you have that, you're gonna wanna click Tab to go into Edit Mode, and then you're going to want to click over here and have the knife tool open. So basically what you want to do is, um, so for the arms and legs, you have to click on these vertices or these edges. Because if you say you go like this, you click in the middle and click over here. When you cut it, it's going to be really distorted. I don't really know why, but um, this is the easiest way to do it without any fails. So what you're going to want to do is just click to cut out um, the hand or whatever or whatever you want to uh, whatever the skin is and cut it out as best as you can while clicking on all of the edges and then make your way around and click on the first one to close it and then hit enter so this just made um, two parts so what you want to do is click on this little button down here it's the face select and then you just want to want to click, hold shift and click on all of the faces of the hand. So all of these faces, because we're going to delete them. So you, it's only the clothes as the above layer. And then you're going to want to hit X and delete faces. So now we have um, a 3D clothes. So it doesn't really look 3D just yet. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to bring up this tab or this tab over here we're gonna hit the the modifier properties we're gonna delete the subsurf and go to add modifier and then click on subdivision surface so once you got that just change the level viewport to 4 and the render to 4 then what you're gonna want to do so at this point you probably want to go and download the clothing fold in the description so once you got that down come back so once you got that down, just go hit add modifier again and click on displace. This is going to make it look really weird, but only for a second. Then you're going to want to hit new down here 
and then click on this little switch tab and then click open and then find your fold texture. So you can just whatever, wherever you saved it, just click on it and it should pop up kind of like this. Then you want to go back to the modifier properties and then change the local to object. And then this is basically your preferences. I kind of like to go with 0.2. So that's kind of like pretty like big, but you can go 0.1 or even bigger, maybe like 0 0.5 if you want like huge clothes. But I think I'm just gonna go 0 0.15. Then see, it's kind of just like, there's no wind to it. It's kind of just winded down. So what we're gonna wanna do is hit Shift A Go to empty and click on plane axis. Then you just want to like move this wherever you want, doesn't matter. And you want to click on your 3D clothes and then click this little eyedrop tool and then click on your plane axis. And then as you can see, whenever you rotate this, the wind pattern moves or, or the clothing pattern moves around. And you can change this because say like they're looking in this direction and there's wind pushing on them. So you want to make it so like, like it's like that. So the wind is pushing against their clothes in that direction. And so, yeah, we can just put it wherever we want, just like that. And then you're just going to want to do this for the other arm. Exact same thing. Okay. So once you did the exact same thing to the other arm, now we're, we have to move on to the legs and this is where it gets kind of, not really tricky, but kind of annoying. But so you just want to hide one of the legs so we can focus on one. So what we want to do here is, so I guess with Nezuko's clothes, she has kind of like two layers. So we're going to be working with that to make it even better. So we're going to do the same thing, shift D click and then set origin, origin to geometry and scale it a little bit more. So when you go into edit mode, you can see that it's, the leg is super distorted and a really, really easy fix to fix that is click on this yellow triangle and then scroll down and then you should see this little button here. Once you click that, it'll revert back to normal. So that's really all you need to do. And then you're just going to you do the same thing with your knife tool and make sure you're clicking on the edges, not in between, because then it will come out distorted. And just click um, around and see, sometimes you can't get a clean cut, so you just gotta kinda cut some of the white with it. And just keep going around. And we're actually gonna do two layers to the torso and to the legs, because she has two layers of clothing. So, once you, this is pretty easy. Once you complete this, um, you're going to want to click enter and as you can see, when you hit enter, it gets distorted again. What you just want to do is go out of edit mode and back into edit mode and that will easily fix it for you. And which is just clicking tab if you didn't know. So now we're going to click on all the parts that aren't the part that we cut out. So all this pink and then we're going to hit X and delete faces. So once you got that, you got your more clothes. And uh, yeah, so that's basically that part. Then what we're going to do is this part will be pretty tricky to do because of the vertice placement. Oh, and we forgot to delete the bottom. And uh, where? Oh, whoops. All right. So now that we got this one, we're going to hide it just for now and we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to, we're going to cut out this pink part. So we have actual three layers. So we can go back to this and so you see how it doesn't really match up too well. I mean, we can just do our best and find a way around it. We're basically just cutting out the second layer. So, and yeah, so then we can delete this layer and then we should have a pretty good representation of it. 
So we can unhide everything. And we're not done just yet, but we're getting close. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna do the same thing we did on the arms. So we're going to click on the modifier properties and delete subsurf and add a subdivision and then change those properties and then go back to displace and add your folds and then um, go change this to however you like but change this to object and I'm probably gonna put this as 0 0.2 maybe two this time all your preferences and um, make a plain access I'll do that a little later though since we have a lot of clothes to do and do the same with this so with um, there's a really neat trick that I'm going to show you after we finish this part that you can do with um, like torso and arms you can't do it with legs because of the um, welds but you just want to go into edit mode and click on this little um, toggle so basically once you click this little button then it'll basically be it's like an x-ray tool so what you're going to want to do is highlight on these lower faces and hit s and extrude them a bit so now there's like kind of like a like if i do it that big then you can kind of see like some like depth to it and yeah we can kind of do it with everything else so yeah once you did all of your stuff to le the leg you can go ahead and do it to the other leg and add your plane axis and i think yeah right there is good and then add another one for this And yeah, you can also, you don't always have to, to side to side, you can tilt it forward or like, like, cause there's a X, Y, Z axis. So basically once you do that with the first one, you can go ahead and hide this and do it with the second one. Okay. So now that you've got your limbs done, we're going to want to work on the torso. So we're going to do the exact same method that we did before and this also has um, it's gonna be three layers because I like just like the legs so first we're going to cut out the like skin from their neck so it's not like folding their skin and actually with the torso you don't have to cut on all of these points you can just cut like wherever you want so you can remove the um, neck and then you're going to want to do the exact same thing again and make it a little bit bigger so we can get the robe and then you can just go all around the outside and where's that point just so I can make it a little bit better and you can cut out all of this. And then hit enter. So then you're going to want to delete all of this in. And then you're just going to want to use the... Actually, no, we're going to take this out because I noticed a few hiccups. Um, down here, so when you are doing this, you 100% want to delete the bottom. Because when you're like sizing this to go with the wind or whatever, there's going to be like it's just a box. It's not like actual clothes. And you also want to delete these. So um, those also don't get caught in the way because it'll look like it's just all one clothing. You make sure you want to do it on this same layer. And there you go so now we can just put this back Oops. 
And then we're going to want to do the same thing for the fifth time and do the clothing folds. So delete. I'm actually just going to skip over this part since you guys have done it quite a bit of time. So you should be able to easily do this now. But uh, yeah, I'll see you after. Okay, so now once you've done that, you can just um, click on one of the body parts and hold and Alt H and get your head back. Then that is basically the end of making your 3D clothes. So now I'm just going to save this just in case it crashes. And the reason I actually chose to do Nezuko is one, because we can do multiple layers of her clothes. And two, because I'm actually working on a collection from the Mugen Train Demon Slayer movie. And I'm making a GFX for every character. So you can actually join my Discord server if you want to see sneak peeks on it. Because I will be up. I already uploaded some of them from there into the um, Discord. And also every 10 subscriber milestones, I give away a free render. Um, which is basically just the character um, and poses. No, Nothing in Photoshop yet. And I do that every 10 subscriber milestones, so you can get them in my Discord server. So if you do want to get some, it's free for everyone in the server. It's not like a giveaway yet. Maybe once I get more members. But yeah, if you want some free ones, you can go there. So now you just want to import your props. And they might be backwards, so just turn them around. And boom, we have our Nezuko with 3D clothes. And yeah, now you can start posing and make a super, super cool GFX. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, join the Discord server if you want some free renders every 10 subs, get your family to sub just so I can hit those 10 milestones. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.